Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Funda family. In this video, I'll explain circulator waveguide. Let us begin this session with first agenda that is basics of circulator waveguide. See here, symbol of circulator waveguide that is shown. In this symbol, I have considered in total four ports. This is port 1, this is port 2, this is port 3 and this is port 4. Here, this arrow indicates direction of circulation. If you give input at port 1, then that signal will go to port 2 and remaining ports are isolated over here. If you give input at port 2, then output will appear at port 3 and remaining ports are isolated over here. If you give input at port 3, then that is getting circulated towards port 4 and remaining ports are isolated over here. Similarly, if you give input at port 4, then that signal is getting circulated towards port 1 and remaining ports are isolated over here. So that is how basic working is there with circulator waveguide. And in your laboratory, you might have seen three port circulator like this, where in arrow is shown over here means signal is getting circulated in this direction. For example, if you give input over here, then output will appear at this port. That is how arrow is shown over here, right? So circulator waveguide, that is multi-port waveguide junction. Here, signal can flow from nth port to n plus 1th port in one direction only. So here, if you apply input at port 1, as per the arrow, signal will go to port 2 and remaining ports are isolated over here. That is what ideal working, right? So microwave circulator that is available with multiple ports. Most commonly used circulators are there with four port circulators. The reason is majority of applications are there with four port circulator. I'll explain one application as well in which I'll explain you how circulator can be used as a duplexer. So, multi-port circulators are available in the market. Most commonly used circulators are four-port circulators. And in your laboratory with microwave test bench, you might have seen three-port circulator, right? As I have explained, working here with this given symbol, if you give input at port 1, then output is getting circulated towards port 2 and remaining ports are isolated over here. And as if you give input at port 2, Output will be circulated towards port 3 and remaining ports are isolated over here. That is how basic working is there. Now based on this working, let me explain ideal scattering parameters. Here we have scattering parameters of 4 port ideal circulator where we have 4 cross 4 matrix. If you observe here we have zeros and 1s only. Here 1 indicates transfer of signal this one that is there at the location of S14 means here we are giving input at 4 output is happening at 1 means here we have 1 if you observe here we have 1 with location of S21 means here we give input at 1 and output is happening at 2 here we have location of 1 at S32 means here we have output at 3 provided input is given at 2 and here we have location of 1 at S43 means output is happening at 4 provided input is given at 3. So this is ideal scattering matrix in which if you observe S11, S22, S33 and S44 that is 0 means there is no reflection at this port and here other than this working all other parameters are zero that is ideal but always remember we don't have ideal circulators right but still here some data that will be given to you like what is reflection loss so reflection loss that one can calculate based on s11 s22 s33 s44 Right. There can be also data that may be given to you that is based on insertion loss. 
insertion loss that happens due to presence of device right so there can be different data that will be given to you and based on that one can solve many problems based on circulator even in future coming videos i'll be solving one problem as well now i'll explain you one very interesting application that is circulator as a duplexer so first of all you need to understand what is duplexer the duplexer is used to isolate high power transmitter and low power receiver like in radar system you will be observing we transmit high power signal that high power signal is having power strength in terms of megawatts but whatever echo that we receive that echo signal that will be there in terms of micro volt or nano volt so transmitted power that is there in terms of 10 to the power 6 to 10 to the power 9 volts and received power that is there in form of 10 to the power minus 6 to 10 to the power minus 12 volt so here we have high power transmitter and low power receiver so it is very essential to isolate these two circuits otherwise receiver circuit may get damaged because of transmitter circuit the reason is receiver circuit is functioning in terms of micro volt in terms of nano volt right while transmitter circuit that is functioning in terms of mega volts so here we will be isolating transmitter and receiver circuit using duplexer let me explain you how see here we have transmitter circuit here we have antenna here we have receiver circuit and here we have matched termination now see what will happen here this transmitter that will be giving high power signal to antenna so port 3 that will be circulating signal at port 2 as per this direction right as per the direction it is circulating in this direction and that signal will appear at antenna and ideally other ports are isolated over here right and as and when antenna receives signal at that time that received signal by antenna that is circulated towards port 1 and ideally these two ports are isolated so here we are using single antenna only this single antenna will be transmitting signal given by transmitter and whatever signal that is received by antenna that will be circulated towards the receiver so using circulator we are isolating high power transmitter and low power receiver right so here signal of transmitter that is there at port 3 that is getting circulated towards port 2 where we have antenna and other ports are isolated right and whatever signal that is received by antenna at port 2 that is circulated towards port 1 where we have receiver and other ports are isolated over here so here what we are doing is we are isolating high power transmitter and low power receiver and one should know see receiver in radar circuit that is very sensitive sensitive means it is detecting signal in form of nano volt in form of micro volt so that is sensitive receiver right which is functioning at very low power and that's why we need to isolate high power transmitter and low power receiver and that could be done using circulator as well here one more thing that you need to understand like why should we have duplexer first of all the duplexer is required to have single antenna as a transmitter and receiver usually in radar you will be using parabolic reflector antenna and size of parabolic reflector antenna that is quite huge so if you have two separate antennas one is for transmitter and second is for receiver then size of entire system will increase and here major size is there because of antenna only that's why what we do is we will be keeping only one antenna and that one antenna is used for transmission and reception purpose that's why duplexer is highly essential and that duplexer can be deployed using circulator as per the explanation which i have given over here thank you so much for watching this video still if anything that i would like to share just note it down in comment section i'll be happy to help you thank you so much for watching this video